Alright, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for November 2018. So before we jump on in here, Libra, the brand new blog is up at stormygrace.com. I hope you will jump over and check it out or you can click in the description box down below and there's a link that'll take you right over there. Now, right now what's up on the blog are the major astrological transits and aspects for November, December, January, and I'm working on February 2019, but they'll all be up there for you because there's so much that happens in a month in a video we can't cover absolutely everything or we'd be here all night long so I put them up there for you I even put a little set of instructions on how to find it in your own chart so go over it's free check it out I look forward to your feedback and you just enjoying that okay all right, Libra, so this month is a movable month, right? We've got planets going forward, we've got planets going retrograde, and we've got planets changing signs. So there is just stuff happening. And a fair amount of what's going to be happening is going to impact your communication life and also things around relationships. So the big ticket item that I think is on the agenda is, yes, of course, Jupiter is moving into Sagittarius, and that is very exciting. It's been in Scorpio for 13 months months. It's going to move into Sagittarius, light up your third house space. This means new communication, new communications, new social things, new networking events, new writings, new studies. Um, all of these things, buying and selling things become prominent here. But that's not the event that I'm the most excited about. The most, uh, the event that I am the most excited about is the North Node of Destiny moving out of Leo and moving into the sign of Cancer. So this puts it towards the top of your chart in that midheaven space. Now, why I get so excited about the North Node is because when the North Node of Destiny makes a move, we will fulfill what's happening there. We will fulfill something in that house. So over the next 18 months, you're going to look back and say either in your career, your social status, your status and how you're known in the world, um, your soul level calling, something that you're doing in the world that has your name behind it. Even if it feels like, you know, I'm not working, I'm a stay at home parent, I'm retired, I'm on disability, whatever it is. Who you are and how you're being and what you're giving to the world is going to shift and adjust in this next 18 months and it's absolutely exciting. I'm going to make a separate video on the North Node of Destiny moving into Cancer so look out for that, okay? All right, let's break this month down. So right at the beginning of the month on the 6th, we have that North Node of Destiny moving into the sign of Cancer, lighting up that 10th house space for you right up top of the chart. We've got some beautiful things to unfold over the next 18 months. Also on the same day, Uranus, who is retrograde, is going to slide from Taurus back up into the sign of Aries. So across the street from you means that we are going to be in the seventh house space. Now let me tell you, over the last seven years, I am sure, Libra, you have seen some significant shifts to your relationships that have probably culminated somewhere around this year, I would think, or the end of last year. But either way, with this Uranus going retrograde, going back into Aries, one, it is asking you about your identity in relationships, right? You're going to look back over that. What have you outgrown, right? Libra, you can show up as a giver. You can also show up a little bit controlling. So where have you had to give up some level of control and where have you shifted? Because with Uranus being backwards here, what you want to do is go back and look over any habits that you have that still need to be broken or you need to be free from because they are not giving you that free flow of energy, right? Check those out because this is where Uranus is going to be until March. But I also think it's a good place to do a progress check, right? Like where have you grown in your relationships or if relationships have just gone crazy for you because for some Libras, relationships have just been rough, right? What is the pattern that you're noticing here and what can you break from it so that you can move forward as Uranus gets going in March into Taurus? On the 7th, we've got a new moon happening in Scorpio, so just in the next door neighbor over here, which puts this new moon in your second house. I love that. When we have a new moon, the sun and the moon are together, so 
possibilities are endless. Anything can happen here. And in the second house space and being in Scorpio energy, Scorpio wants the truth, right? It's the truth. It's depth. There's a lot of depth. There's a lot of intimacy. There's a lot of power here, right? And being in the second house, this could be new money making opportunities for you because the second house is how you make money, not money that's given to you, how you make money. So, you know, is there a new company that you're going to be a part of? Are you taking a promotion? Are you putting some of your own skills and talents out on display? Play. This is also an energy of self-esteem. You've had a lot of working in relationships, Libra. This Scorpio energy is going to ask you the truth of where your self-esteem is today, right? You've gone through all of these changes and transitions. Where are you going to plant these seeds of intention? What do you want your self-esteem to look like? Value-wise, what do you want to have in your home? What are these material things that you want to have, right? Like these are things that you get to start planting at this new moon. So the financial space, the value space, the esteem space, anything having to do with value gets a beautiful new start at this point in the month. On the 8th, Jupiter's going to move over there, come home into Sagittarius where he's very comfortable because he already rules Sagittarius. Now this lights up your third house. Wherever Jupiter goes, he wants to expand, right? But he doesn't want you to just expand your mind, like, whatever. He wants you to expand out. He's like, take this thing and expand it out here. Go do something with it, right? Because Jupiter is a lot of wisdom, and he understands that if you keep information, you keep skills, you keep whatever just to yourself, there's no wisdom in that, right? The wisdom comes from the sharing. It's gorgeous. And he also wants to help create abundance, and that's how you have to do it, right? So in your third house, house space. One of the first things I think of is communication. And because it's Sagittarius, Jupiter energy, maybe you're um, communicating with people from a distance, right? They like to travel. Maybe you're communicating about travel. Maybe you are traveling. The third house is typically short distance traveling, but because Jupiter's involved here too, the word travel runs to my mind. And because it's a communication house, this could definitely be things that are foreign for me. Are you learning a foreign language or maybe studying something um, that is foreign to you, right? So this is a wonderful energy for study. This is also a great energy for expanding some writing. And whether that is a website, a book, a whatever it is that you're trying to write, edit, get together, this is a wonderful energy for that. As well, like I said, you're buying, you're selling, you're doing contracts, you're doing any of those things. Jupiter is going to help you expand this area of your life over the next um, year until December 2019 and social networking groups. So you could be having some new networking going on in your life. On the 15th, we've got Mars moving into the sign of Pisces, lighting up your sixth house. Now, Mars in Pisces is not comfortable because he's very fast moving and he's fiery and he wants to do things quickly and he's decisive, right? Pisces is a water energy, so when Mars moves into Pisces, there's no moving quickly, there's no fiery energy, we can be very indecisive. In fact, you can be very unclear. Maybe you don't even know what you want here. So in your work zone, you may have a lack of clarity, but what I think that Mars does here that is beautiful in this placement is slows us down a little bit. Libra, you might need to go over your daily routine. What does your daily routine look like, right? Does it need some health? Does it need some adjustment? Does it need some action? Have you been procrastinating on something, right? Health wellness, including mental wellness. Where's your head at? Where's your head as it relates to the rest of your health and your physical body? Um, service projects. And of course, if you have something going on with coworkers or at work, if you are a freelance working person, this may be a time where you're kind of unclear or the work thing or the health thing seems a little bit unclear and it's okay. Take the slowdown to reevaluate and observe what's there so that you can take quicker action as Mars whips around there back into Aries, right? All right, November 16th, we've got several things happening. First and foremost, Venus is coming out of retrograde. That is your ruling planet, and it is coming out of retrograde in your sign. So this is gorgeous. You've had a time to relook over some value things, self-esteem things, romantic things, um, financial things. You've had a chance to look over those things of disharmony, right? Now, coming direct, Venus is going to give you this energy to move those things forward, and you're going to be a lot more diplomatic. You're going to be 
be a lot more willing to negotiate. There's just a lot more of a sense of being reasonable going forward. But because it's in your first house, I think you are ready and willing to show up differently out in the world. You're letting people see you differently because you're showing up differently, right? This could also be a time too with Venus coming direct where you decide, I want a haircut, I want to lose weight, I want to whatever. The physical external expression of who you are is going to have forward motion and adjustment today. And it is about bringing harmony and value to your world. When we also are on the exact same day, we've got Mercury going retrograde. So Venus comes direct and Mercury is heading into retrograde there in the sign of Sagittarius. So again, your third house is busy. Now Mercury is our planet of communications, decision making, thinking, stu studying. He's very savvy in business and he's going to go retrograde in your communication studies, savvy about business house, right? So. One of the things we want to expect is, first of all, when Mercury goes retrograde, it goes retrograde for everybody. Nobody is missing out on Mercury retrograde, okay? So try and have some grace with people. Try and be patient with people to the best of your ability and have patience. Maybe there is a contract coming up or a decision that you need to make and it is delayed in some way. Now because Jupiter is over there and he's ready to expand and take this show on the road, I think it's beautiful that Mercury comes in and says, fine, we can take the show on the road, but we need to reevaluate what we've got in our inventory real quick. What do I need to rethink? What do I need to re-edit? What do I need to rediscuss or adjust, right? So this is a beautiful energy before you launch out. Now, as we get to the 22nd of the month, the sun also comes into the third house. So Libra this month, communication, finding your voice, making decisions, the writing, the studying, it is all a hot topic for you this month. So really be paying attention. And if you ground down into nothing this month, pay attention there, okay? Ooh, just got this two Libras. You could have something in settlement. If it is a legal situation, a divorce, a, it looks like an ending in some way. Um, there could be settlement coming to it this month as well. So keep that in mind. All right, as we get to the 23rd of the month, we've got a full moon happening in Gemini, and this is gonna be hitting your ninth house space. So the full moon says something needs to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted, so we're gonna have a shift. Maybe you're ending an educational training certification program, maybe you're ending a trip, maybe you're, whatever's happening in this ninth house, publishing, broadcasting, getting yourself out there. There may need to be an adjustment of you getting yourself out there. You know, do you have the best podcast ever, or have you been thinking about doing a podcast and now is the time because sometimes the ending that is brought by the full moon acts as that catalyst for that brand new beginning. I've been thinking about it, procrastinating, procrastinating, and then you take the leap, right? So this could be a beautiful space for you. I also would say to you just being in the ninth house space, Libra, what in your faith needs to be reevaluated? And I'm not saying in your religion, right? Maybe you are reconsidering that, but what in your faith doesn't work anymore? Have you made, um, your faith too small to carry you to this next stage of your life or are you realizing that it's big enough so that you can move forward right these are great questions to ask this month now as we end the month on the 24th neptune is going to be coming out of retrograde in the sign of pisces there in the sixth house with neptune in retrograde it's like you see the dream you see the vision you know change is coming right i know something's coming in my career i know change is coming in my health i know things are something's coming but i can't tell what it is exactly right because it can't land when neptune's retrograde so when neptune comes direct here what happens is the dream the vision the whatever goes from being the dream to being a concrete reality so things can start to actually take shape now which is a gorgeous experience as well and the um analogy I always give is that before a chair was a chair it was just an imagination right now we got all kinds of chairs they're super concrete reality right <laughs> So that is very much so what you can look forward to in this sixth house area of your of your life. New health and fitness plans, new wellness plans, new things at work, all of that good stuff. Whatever the vision was, you can start to see it land now as we move forward throughout the rest of the year. All right, Libras, like this video, comment, share, subscribe, check out the blog because it is just up there for you guys. It is up there for all of you guys to use and to enjoy. I look forward to seeing you next month, okay? Bye.